Uh, welcome to the online video series of python so in this video we are going to discuss about looping so how to implement looping using python so basically when we are discussing the uh, loops in programming so in python we are going to discuss on while loop and for loop so we are going to discuss while loop and for loop so before going to the uh, while loop and for loop first we'll check what is mean by loop so looping mean we are going to execute some set of task one after another so we are going to execute one set of task one after another in until a uh, some condition is met so if we want to perform and a task without ending or without one condition is met so we can use a loop so it can generally say like statements are executed sequentially the first statement in a function is executed first followed by the second so basically many program languages provide various control structures that allow for more complicated execution path so the loop statement allow us to execute the statement or group of statement multiple times so usually the loopings will allow you to execute a set of statements or group of statements in a multiple time so if we want to do some set of task repeatedly so then we should go with loop so in the last video we have discussed so if we want to take a decision then we you have to use decision making algorithm life if else so in this scenario if we want to perform some task repeatedly for n number of times so then we have to use loops so in this case we are going to discuss about while loop and for loop so this is a general so this is a general uh, drawing which indicates so if we have a condition if the condition is true then we are going to have a conditional code and we are going to repeatedly do the same set of task so, so the same thing will be repeated until the condition is met if the condition fails you will be going out of the loop so this is how conditions are going to work so uh, first we'll see how to implement while loop using python so this is the normal general statement order while the expression is met you are going to do the some set of task okay so uh, then we can take example if we want to uh, print from 1 to uh, we'll think like we want an example of printing from uh, 0 to 10 so we want to print 0 to 10 so we can uh, first initialize a variable called count so it is initialized into 0 so then we are going to check whether the count we are going to check whether the count is less than 10 why we want to check whether the count is less than 10 it should be print from 0 to 10 so if it is if we need a 10 then we can put the condition less less than or equal to 10 then we can have a general condition like print the number is we can give a comma so comma is for uh, concatenating a value with one more variable so I want to print the count so in this case in my case count is 0 then it will print the number is count then I should increment the count so we can write count equal count plus one so then we can execute the program and check whether the code is working correctly so you can see 
the number is starting from 0 to 10 it is going to print so we'll check how this code is going to work so i am having a variable initialize like count equals 0 so here is the uh, looping happening so i am having the condition while followed by the expression or the statement so here i am going to check whether count is less than or equal to 10 so if the count is less than or equal to 10 so then i can print the number so in the first scenario the count is 0 so 0 is less than or equal to 10 so this condition is correct it will go the number is 0 it will print then count equal count plus 1 so now my count is 1 then it will check for the condition 1 is less than or equal to 10 so then it will print the number is 1 so like that it will go up to 10 then it will check with the count 10 equal to 10 so it is correct here with the equal part so 10 is equal to 10 then it will print the number is 10 so then the count is incremental to 11 then it will check with the while 11 is less than or equal to 10 so this condition is false then it will go out of the loop and it will end the while looping so this is how this while is going to work okay so if we want any infinite loop so if we want any infinite loop we'll think like um, uh, we are having again we'll think like count equal zero so uh, we don't have any condition then we can use the keyword true while true true mean it will execute until it ends it will execute so then it will see if we run this one we can see this code is going to be executed until the infinity okay uh, so then uh, in such a way like uh, we want to take uh, the maximum number of numbers so it will take uh, the infinite number of numbers so then we can we need like if we found 50 we will be asking okay code to break this loop so in such places we can write like this so you are going to print then we can add a if condition so here again we are going to use decision making so we can put if count equal to 50 then you can ask to break so here break is used for for ending this loop if it is not equal to 50 then again it will increment the count plus count so then if we run this one you can see the program end at 50 the program is end at 50 why here this condition will be checking the count is equal to 50 then it will use the keyword break so this break will be end in the this while loop and it will go out of the loop so this is how you are going to implement some looping algorithm using while loop so the main syntax is while followed by the expression then you are keeping double dot then you are going for the different indexing so in this indent you are going to write the set of code where you should implement the set of statements okay so the, the next one we are going to discuss is uh, for loop so in the for loop the comparing to the while loop in the for loop we can go or the we can do the increment part also inside the loop itself so uh, there are many ways we can use um, for loop first uh, we'll check how to print uh, again from 0 to 10 using uh, for loop also so then you can write algorithm for count in range 0 comma 50 you can print count the number is 
50 so if we run the program you can see it will be running from 0 to 49 so in this case you can see it will run from 0 to 49 so why 0 to 49 so this range is initialized from 0 to n so it will print only from 0 to n minus n minus 1 only so if you want to print from 0 to 50 then you should add here it should be go from 0 to 51 so this last element is excluded in the range so if we run this program you can see it will print up to 50 so in this scenario so we don't have any incremental step so here it says then it you should start for then i'm having a variable count in the range from 0 to 51 so if you want to increment it by 2 then you can add the third variable also so if we run this one you can see the output it is incremented by 2 by 2 2 4 6 8 10 12 like that so the no, in the normal scenario if you are not going to initialize anything it will be incremented by 1 if not it will be incremented by the variable where you have initialized so this is how you are going to initialize any integer or for any numerical thing this is how you are going to initialize a for loop so for followed by the variable name so then you are going to use the keyword in range so in range indicates you should go from this range to this range with this increment okay so then uh, we can uh, check uh, how to print something in a string we will check this example so i am going to have this example so it indicates i am having a letter for letter in python so this is the normal word so we don't have any region or any uh, range here so we are having a word so it says that for letter in python so we are going to take a one by one letter from here and going to print the current letter is letter so if we run this module you can see the output so in the first loop it has taken the first letter it is printed then it has taken the second letter like that it will take the letters until the word is executed okay and also uh, from the uh, list also you can do the same uh, task like uh, traversing in the list also so i am having a list called fruit which is initialized banana apple and mango so i am going to check for fruit in fruit so that means fruits is this is uh, this list so i am going to take one by one and i am going to print the each fruit in this fruits list so if you run this one you can see you are getting the output banana apple and mango so like this you can perform any set of tasks repeatedly so in this case i am repeatedly traveling through this list and i am going to print the each value in the list so in the last one I, we saw there is a one word we are taking the each letter traveling through one letter by one letter and we are going to print each letter okay so this is how we are going to implement uh, loops in python so in the upcoming videos we will be checking how to implement some other numerical implementation and how to print some triangles then some star patterns using these loops in upcoming videos so stay tuned with my youtube channel you can learn more concept in loops in upcoming videos